So in the past few checkpoints, we have learned about the workings of the transformers and how we can use transformers to step up or step down the voltage from AC source, including calculations of the output voltage and current. However, one very important question remains. Why do we do this? Why do we use an AC source and then step it up or down? After all, when using for heating or lighting, AC has no practical advantages over DC because the heating effect of a current is independent of its direction. In fact, many practical systems such as large bottles and railway systems can only run on DC. Well, the main advantage of using AC over DC is that it can be stepped up or down a lot more easily. This is useful for practical purposes because high voltage transmission of an electric power loss loses less power in the cable through geo heating, while low voltages are needed for our daily electrical appliances. So this brings us to our next question. Why does high voltage transmission lead to low power losses in cables? To understand why, let us suppose that you want to transmit some amount of power P over a long distance. Since P equals to VI, you can choose to use either a high voltage or low current, or a, a high voltage and low current, or a low voltage and high current. Suppose you choose to use a low voltage. Rewriting the current that tra travels that long distance is given by P over V, which is high. Hence, since the wire undergoes geo heating over this long distance, the power dissipator is I squared R, which is very high as well. Alternatively, if you choose to use a higher voltage, the current needed will be smaller and thus the power dissipator will be smaller as well. Hence, the high voltage transmission minimizes power loss across long distance cable. This sums up the entire topic on alternating currents. If you have any burning questions, please submit them to open questions.